What up, folks? I am Ultra Zone, and I have a review of the Jada Toys Street Fighter 2 Ultra, the final challengers, Ryu and Ken. That's all right, my zillions. We have a double review here today, and it's mostly because there's a lot of reuse between these two figures, and I have them at the same time, even though Ryu came out last year and Ken came out this year. I did pick them up both at the same time at Big Bad at Toy Store because I had them both in stock uh, and I had other stuff coming so I figured might as well get them there. I did get Chun-Li at Amazon uh, and uh, that was a little cheaper and uh, that was cool and that figure was great and it really changed my opinion on uh, the line because I had gotten Fei Long last year and I liked the figure but it didn't compel me to get more, you know what I'm saying? So uh, Chun-Li was fantastic as you've recently seen here. And if you haven't seen it, please do check out that review. It's quite awesome. Um, but even before that, I did get to check out Ryu in person. Uh, someone I know had one and it was pretty cool. So I was like, you know what? I think I got to give this line another chance, especially since I'm a big old school Street Fighter fan. Uh, so here we go. Another chance once again, but we're, we're looking good. We're looking good after Chun-Li. So without any further ado, let's get to this review. And here's Ryu and Ken out of uh, their packages. And let's start with their hands here, a little accessory action. As you can see, uh, they have like their Hadouken hands. Uh, pretty good. You got the little pads on there. That's for uh, Ryu. And here is Ken's in brown. Again, same thing. You're going to see that theme a lot on uh, these figures. And that's why I wanted to do them together. But pretty cool stuff. And of course, here are the Hadoukens themselves. Uh, and they're very, very cool. As you can see, they put the hands inside them. Uh, because when they do do that, they you know, it looks like the hands are like the impressions of their hands are still in there. So they actually put in an extra set of hands, it looks like. Uh, inside each of these and uh, that's pretty cool I gotta say I do like that one is done in orange one is done in a blue um, and they come up with these little stands and I believe it's the same little stand that we saw with um, with Chun-Li's effect uh, with the two elbows here so it's pretty cool this one holds pretty well this one is a little bit loose I gotta say it just goes down just a little bit, so a little bit loose on uh, Ryu's. But Ken's works really nice, and again, they're pretty cool. And there you have uh, Ryu and Ken firing off their Hadoukens. Uh, pretty cool. I feel like uh, Ryu uh, is able to do a little bit better, like, you know, as far as getting the arms uh, to do what they're supposed to do. Uh, but, you know. It, it, it works. I mean, you know, like, you could really, you could really fake it, if anything, but uh, they do work. We'll look at the articulation in a, a moment on uh, these guys, but before we do, they both come uh, with extra heads, and yeah, both gritting faces, which, which they probably should be making while they're doing <laughs> this right now. Uh, Ryu's looks all right. It's not so bad. The teeth are painted fine. The eyes look pretty decent. The eyebrows are crazy, as they should be. The hair looks fine. A little bandana looks pretty good on this one. And uh, Ken, again, same thing. The teeth look pretty good. The eyes look pretty good. The eyebrows are looking okay. I feel like, yeah, right there, this one might be a little bit messed up. Can't really, yeah, like slacking some black in there, maybe. Uh, it's it's okay. It's not so so bad, and the hair is pretty good. You can see there's a little uh, bit of a orange wash over the yellow, uh, and that is very nice. Okay, and as far as that articulation, and like I said, this is like kind of the best I can do for the Hadouken. Like it works, you know what I'm saying? They do have uh, butterfly joints, both of them, as you can see there. So I mean, if you could get it all the way across. That, like, should work. Should work pretty well, but, you know, it is what it is. It works. Head moves like so. The neck moves separately. Then you do have the upper body joint. So the gi is, like, kind of in the way. Um, a little bit. You do have a separate waist. 
But, you know, that it does move fairly well. Oh, this head just came off. Gives us an opportunity to look at this head on there, shall we? Yeah, there we go. Pretty good. Uh, and then, again, you have the butterfly giant, which works fairly well. Hinge, swivel at the shoulder, swivel at the bicep. You got the double jointed elbow. You have the hinge, swivels at the wrists. Your legs uh, come out to a, a full split here. Kicks forward, pretty good. Goes back, swivel at the thigh. No drop down joint or anything like that. The knees are double jointed. And then you have the rocker at the foot with the hinge. So, you know, it's pretty good articulation for sure. I am a little hindered here, you know, because of this. Can you take it off? Prob I'm going to say probably, but then, you know, I don't think you're going to be able to get it back on pretty well, uh, I got to say. So I probably wouldn't do it. And of course, Ken is going to have all the same articulation, but let's see if it works better or worse. The head, again, moves nicely. So does the neck, the upper body. The waist, actually waist works really, really well on Ken. Uh, a lot better, actually. That's pretty good. And then uh, I got to say, I think, you know what? Maybe because of all the cuts in that one, it's kind of coming over a little bit more. I feel like even the butterfly joint works a little bit better than Ken. They could have, because that was the first release and this was the second release. Uh, not the second release, but like second wave. They could have, um, you know improve that so i'm finding ken working really really well here so far which is nice you know what i'm saying very good let's see this him not working right yeah there we go it's pretty good yeah i didn't have it all the way in split kick back swivel double joint then the rocker and the hinge so yeah pretty good i feel like ken feels a little bit better uh, this is a little bit better uh, than uh, Ryu. Uh, yeah, I, I, I do feel that. I really do. I feel like, it, I mean, it could just be my copy, but um, it does feel a little bit more worked in. Maybe it's because the mold has been used a few times now um, because they also used it for Dark Ryu. Um, and I believe there's a, a Dark Ken too. Oh, look at that. Anybody know? <laughs> Anybody notice this? Yeah, that's that's pretty funny. So taking a look at Ryu in full. First up, the head sculpt here with the regular one. It's pretty good. I, I do like it. I do have a little bit of excess white, I believe. Or it looks like right underneath that eye is messed up just a tad. It's not terrible, but and it's hard harder to see with the naked eye. But it is there. The head. Hair looks pretty good. A little dusty, it looks like. Um, the bandana looks pretty good. The rest of the face looks pretty good. I think the eyes are good because they're in the right spot, at least. The eyebrows are, are good. The lips are painted. As you can see, it is digitally printed. Pretty well done, though. The body looks pretty good. Oh, that's on, that's on there. Oh, no, it's not. There we go. Um, shading. Muscles all look good. Good sculpt. Veins a popping. Like we said before, the pads <clears throat> on the wrist look pretty good. The gi itself is very, very nice. I like that it's torn, you know, as it should be. Nice texture on it. Very, very nice texture. The belt looks pretty good too. Printing here looks really good. Very, very, very well done. And then uh, the body here, the body, <laughs> the legs look pretty good. You can see the nice folds and wrinkles sculpted in. And I love that. Looks very, very good. And then the feet, it's got some big old feet. They're pretty well done too. So uh, I think uh, Ken looks pretty good. Proportions are real nice. You know, I like how the gi fits. It's like rubbery and uh, it just works. So he's he's a good looking figure. And just to leave it here, I'm going to bring in Ken here. Because I do want to show you what we got going on here. First up, the gis are different, right? So that's going to be, uh, you know, something different there. Uh, I do think the, the belts might be... 
be the same. Yeah, the belts are the same. Um, the arms are the same. You know, the bodies are the same. Uh, and then the legs are, oh, they're not the same. Well, the low, the, I think the upper legs might be, let's see if this has, yep. The upper legs are the same, but the lower legs are obviously different because they have sculpted that in. So, and the feet might be the same, just painted a little bit differently. Yeah. So there you go. A lot the same here. This is done in red, and it looks pretty good. The arms look good. There's shading in them, too. Different kind of shading, but it looks very, very nicely done. Different shading in the chest as well. Uh, and it looks pretty decent. Of course, the head sculpts are di different. And I like how uh, Ken looks here. The eyes look really good. His eyebrows look good. The mouth looks good. His hair looks good. There's nice shading in the hair as well, and orange over the yellow. You know, the hair looks good, and then it's like um, soft plastic, like the uh, gi. So very, very nice. Um, I'm digging. I'm digging both of them. I I think I dig Ken more. You know, like it's weird because when this came out, these got well, when this one came out with Fei Long, I decided not to get this because I was just like. You know, I got the figure arts, and I really like the figure arts, and I don't know how much I want to collect this line, but I really want the Fei Long. And then I was just like, eh. like I said, I was a little bit disappointed in my Fei Long. Um, I feel like there's better ones out there um, than the one I ended up with. So there's that. But um, this guy's pretty good. I, I'm glad I got him. But I gotta say, I like. Ken even more, and I like Chun Li probably the best out of all of them so far that I've gotten. And I know Dalsim and uh, and and Bison are showing up now. People have started getting them. I've seen some reviews up. I haven't actually watched them, but I because I usually don't watch other people's reviews of stuff that I'm definitely going to review, and I'm definitely going to be reviewing those two. I do have them on pre-order if you know if I don't find them, so I do have them on pre-order. So hopefully. You know, we get to check them out here soon. But these two, these two are good. So for your size comparisons, first up, I, I did want to look at the SHF Ryu here with uh, the SHF, uh, with the Jada Ryu. Obviously, these are from two different Street Fighters. Oh, and I just lost his hand. Uh, so there's differences, but you know, th there's cool stuff about them. Both. It's good to have them both, I guess. Um... He does have some messed up back here. I don't know what that's about. Uh, that might have been stuff that happened here. Uh, I can't remember the review right now. But they scale together, which is great. So if you have this line, you know, uh, they they match up well, I think, with the new line. And here are my four uh, Jada Street Fighter figures uh, together. And so far, so good. Um, you know, again, you know, uh, Fei Long... He was, he's still good. I still like him, but there was stuff about him, like the head sculpts were just, I felt like a little bit off in my book. Um, but otherwise, really, really digging this line so far. And last but not least, here's Ryu and Ken uh, with some other fighting figures with the Boss Fight Studios Lucha Brothers and uh, the Game Dimensions King that we recently reviewed. They all go very well together, in my opinion. And my final thoughts, I really like these figures. They're very, very good. I really like Ken a, a, a lot. And uh, Ryu is really, really good too. But Ken, I feel like, is a step above Ryu, even though they're pretty much the same figure with some, you know, changes. Um, I just think, for whatever reason, Ryu, uh, Ken feels better in hand. Uh, but they're both very, very cool, and I'm glad to be back on this line. You know, after initially being like, eh, I don't know if I'm going to collect it, uh, now I could say that I am back. This is definitely the Street Fighter line that I really wanted the SHF line to be, but I just couldn't get into it, and ultimately they kind of gave up on it, even though they're trying to bring it back a little bit now. But, um... Uh, I only got like three of those, I think. Besides Ryu, I think I have Chun Li and Kami. Uh, but yeah, Jada, you got me. Looking forward to the, the others uh, because I think they're pretty cool. Again, I got mine on Big Bad Toy Store, and so can you. 
but if you want alternatives, I'm pretty sure that Amazon has these now. Again, I did get Chun-Li there, uh, but it was on discount, so it was kind of like, you know, definitely gonna get it there. Uh, but these guys might be there. Do check my Amazon link down below. Um, to help support the channel if you click that one and try to get him there. If not, no worries, right? Uh, and why don't you go ahead and join me in the comments and let's discuss these uh, figures. And there you go, guys. Thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel, why don't you go ahead and sub yourself for daily content and let me help you diversify your collection with some Street Fighter figures. Till next time, peace out, peace.